Any questions from the champ? You know, she's second. Let's get it on. Come on. All right. They plan on getting it on. Mills Lane. Pressure and make a dog fight out of it. There is. He's, you know, he's throwing punches from different angles. He's getting caught. Uh -huh. A little more conventional now. But we've seen it a little bit out of him. He comes in, digs to the body. But it takes too long then to get back into an offensive position and fire off. What has been your full achievement? We'll have many more big Vegas fights to come his way. The left hook comes from the blind side. You hit him to the body, you hit it on the chin. You... Well, there's one thing that everybody agrees with in terms of fighting a south. Get away from that and ended up absorbing a punch to the kidneys. Yeah, there. That's good, good concentration. Oh, did you just see that? Behind the back. I mean, who else could pull that? It's that one. What a display of athleticism. You see IBF lightweight title up for grabs. Oh, nice work to the bottom. Chopping right hand from Azuma Nelson. But look at four, five, six punches returning. I I'm trying to think of what Azuma's thinking. He's not throwing a lot of punches. Maybe his thought is that if you pressure Purnell enough. Has to come straight down, split the guard. Had a little bit of success with the yeah, right hand. Now the throws the combination, gets the left involved. And the swarming attack somewhat effective, and that's a slip. But that's what you got to do. Rough him up. Throw. Slicker, make it a fight. That's exactly what you got to do. Out of board here. There we go. Does it right there, Azuma Nelson. Very entertaining. What they call chopping the fighter down. He's chopping those punches to the body, to the arms. Nice, nice, that's great in fight. That's some brilliant work there. Pete is one of those guys, very collected, you know, like I said, an extensive amateur. Oh, look career. at the body work. Oh, just, he's just completely in supreme, supreme control when he's in there. And I, I admire that about him. He's in butt, and he's, you know, he's very strong, got a good base, but he's me. Joe, I'm very impressed with Pete's body work. Short oh, right hand oh. from Nelson. Back, I thought he uh, hit him with a good shot there. Well, look at what Whitaker does. Goes Pete. He and Pete are about the same height. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing for Nelson. Oh. Oh, there's a good left hand from Pernell Whitaker. It's the potential for range being an issue. Exactly. Height. Wait per se. If the guy's got too many physical Since that summer night in 1982, the African native Nelson has gone eight championship fights without a loss. But I think he's behind him and has defensive mastery. And he's fighting as oh. sharp as we've seen. Now there was a um, like he normally does, but I don't know if he did. I'm not sure he didn't get hurt with that shot. Well, Try to fire off the uppercut. So a good right hand oh, from Nelson, but look. That'll stop a guy in his tracks. Straight left hand, then missed with the uppercut, and he's really to make a move. You gotta give him a moving target on the way in. Ray, break this down for us. So right there, boom, quick right hand, left hook. See, because he's not moving his head. Like... Look at that jab. Steady and consistent. Joe, right here, here's a problem. Oh, good luck to that. Now, good luck. That was a good shot by Nelson. Oh, that's it. Keep throwing punches. That a boy. Keep staying on top of him. That's exactly what he needs. Missed with that free swinger. But what he oh, needs is a oh. fight. Missed with the uppercut just slightly, but keeps charging in. The problem that Nelson's having is hard to get for Pete to hit him. You always got to stay on the angle. You always got to stay on the fighter's angle. But Nelson comes. Tries to land the straight right hand, but Whitaker was already got from Whitaker. Offensive surge from Azuma Nelson in this. Seen some wide sweeping left hands and right hands that have missed, creating some countering opportunities for Purnell Whitaker. Stunned from the. This has by far been Azuma Nelson's best round, and in saying that, it's not necessarily a dominating round. Now, he's throwing a lot of punches back. Eighth round, 12 round title fight. WBC, left hand. And instead, it's Nelson who gets off with two left hands, and then comes with a one-two combination there from Azuma Nelson. Uh, came untied for a moment there. Just pull up the pants and let's go. That type of round, I think it's a very good round for Zuma Nelson. This is... See, this is... I, it, he is, you know, but I tell you, he's taking big shots like that. You know? Well, it's interesting because as you speak and as you analyze, you can almost sense... At all. 
Oh. Comes off the rope, staying away. Keeping him out at the end. Good right hand for on that exchange. Wow, that's some great, that's some great head, head movement by Nelson <laughs> against Pete to be successful. Well, if this is the type of fight you have to have to be successful against him, I don't think anybody's going to be successful against Whitaker in the near future. No, you're right. You're right. Among the pound-for-pound -pound elites. Ooh. Right hand from Nelson. He's been searching for that. Honish both fighters. Nelson now on the attack. Little thank you, remember this from Whitaker. You know, Joe, we've been all night talking about Nelson, what a great warrior he is. And of course, and from Nelson, left from the southpaw, Whitaker opens up for a moment. You know what? I think he's got he's doing what he's got to do. He's got to fight the guy. It's, I mean, I think he's winning. Oh, good combination of red back. Combination. Right hand in behind the temple, wherever one of them weak spots are. See, that's a there he come, is. On, come on, come on. Enough of the circus act, says Mills Lane. Point deduction. It's a possible potentially be a 10 8 round for Nelson. Whitaker able to block that. Well, Azuma Nelson finishes strong, and maybe, just maybe, things got a little tighter on the scorecards, Ray. In his own right. Here is the decision of the judges. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Harry Gibbs scores about 116, 114. Judge Dalby surely scores about 116, 111. And Judge Sid Nathan scores the bout, 115-113, for the winner by unanimous decision, and still, the WBC IBF lightweight champion of the world.